Hola, this is Ali with Ali So Crafty. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm extremely excited to share a project with you that I have been trying to do for at least three years now. And it's a bag that I just don't even know why I haven't made it before because it's so easy to do and so beautiful. I am a fan of So Sweetness and her patterns, Sarah Lawson. And I pretty much, most of the patterns that I have purchased have been from her. And most of the bags that I've made have been from her. So the fact that I haven't made this one pattern is like beyond me because truly it's a pattern that it's very popular and it's just so easy to make, right? So I'm talking about the Tudor bag. Look at this beauty. You guys, it's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. Now, I'm going to do a review of her pattern. And I'm going to share with you certain things that I changed. I always do a little bit of modifications. But I have to tell you, with this pattern, it was minor modifications very very little so that says a lot that i was that i like everything about this bag and i'm also going to share with you some mistakes i made so that you don't make those mistakes yourself but before i go on with the pattern review with you if at any moment you like what you see in this video would you please like it it helps me more than you know and Subscribe to the channel so you can get notifications when I upload the next video. I am very thankful for the subscribers that I currently have. So if you want me to review a specific pattern or if you want me to cover a specific project, leave it in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to check it out. So now let me share my review with you. My whole point of making this pattern was because I am traveling during the summer this year and I wanted a big bag to carry with me at the airport, like my, my one item besides my carry-on, right? So the first thing was that I knew I wanted to add a trolley strap to the bag, which I did here. To be able to use it with my carry-on bag because i used waterproof canva obviously i avoided a step of adding interfacing the waterproof canva it's pretty much all in the lining as well so the inside of the bag is waterproof canva and the straps and the handles the outside the exterior fabric is actually an outdoor fabric so it is also a little bit thicker than normal quilting cotton, but it does, it has like a, a waterproof protection to it. And of course I have foam in the middle. She uh, suggests that if it's optional, but that you add uh, extra support in the bottom with Peltex, so I did. And she also says optional to put like the purse feet. I didn't do that. Now, my suggestion is that if you get any of her patterns, that you also get the video. And I am not an affiliate, so I don't get money for suggesting you to get her video, her patterns, whatever. I just want to share with you, you know, my experience. So I suggest you get the PDF and the video. Because even though she is very detailed, in her patterns very detailed i still find the videos to be a little bit better in many cases she even though in her pattern she gives you a lot of tips you know extra tips she doesn't include as many pictures in her pattern and i feel especially towards the end of the project i missed a couple of steps because it wasn't in her pattern. So I still had to pull the video at the end to see what is it that I missed because something wasn't working. 
I don't know if maybe because I'm a visual learner, so I learn that way better, that the video is always easier for me, but that's my suggestion. Another thing was, as you can see, this front zipper, I, it's, it's beautiful, first of all, and it's very deep, which I love. It's very deep all the way down, but it was very bulky when I was trying to put the zipper together extremely bulky and I could not get the fabric to fold and stay in place so that I could place the zipper and then stitch around it. So what I had to do was that I had to actually stitch first at the zipper plaque and then at zipper and then I had to stitch over it. That way I could hold the fabric in place. If you do that, you have to be very careful when you do the second stitching, when you're actually attaching the zipper, that you stitch on top of the first stitches or it will just look, it will not look good. I made, like I mentioned, the trolley sleeve here. It was really simple, just the two pieces of fabric, uh, exterior and lining. And I didn't stitch it on the side, just stitch, join them on the top and bottom, turn them inside out, and then top stitch them, and then just attach them before I attach the handle. That way they can stay inside the handle. For the inside pockets, since I'm using waterproof Canva for the inside pockets and the lining and everything, I didn't really want to include two pieces of fabric in the pocket because she says you know use one fabric and another and then fold it so that you have a lined interior pocket i didn't want to do that and it really is not necessary with a waterproof canva but i still you know use the piece of the waterproof canva and i folded the top edge twice that way it can create the illusion of having that fold in that seam on top Another thing I included was the key holder strap. This strap, uh, obviously you wanna attach it before you finish the bag and before you're putting it together and it will be attached to your lining. So the top closure, I decided to do the zip closure instead of the magnetic snap closure. She gives you two options for this bag. And that's the beauty of this bag. Everything is pretty much optional. You can have the option to do the handles, but then of course you have to do the straps. Or you don't have to do the straps and just the handle. Uh, you don't have to do the zipper. You can do the magnetic snap. So I decided to do that because of course I'm traveling and I feel safer with a zipper because it kind of, closes everything nobody can see what's inside my bag if for some reason the bag you know falls I, nothing comes out flying it's just my preference right but i made a big mistake <laughs> well not a big mistake but i did make a mistake when i cut the zipper i had a long zipper because i used zipper by the yard you know that was a little bit of the difference in the instructions because her instructions is using a regular uh, zipper that comes already you know pre-cut i did i didn't use that i used a zipper by the yard so i cut it to my measurement and then i just kind of finished it here you know and um at the end but i had enough zipper long enough but then I decided to cut it and add the zipper top and I cut it too short. And so I can still obviously open the bag. I can still get my hands and things inside. But if this, the tab was longer, it will be more comfortable. Not only for me to use it, but it would have been more comfortable to actually make when I was making the zipper panel. So that's one thing, just make sure you don't cut the zipper too short and then, you know, you find yourself in this situation. It's just, it doesn't look as good as I wanted it to look. And because of that, I had to make the zipper tab super skinny, 
and small and it was a little bit complicated i'm not gonna lie but i managed so this is definitely a bag that i will make again i actually think this will be a great beginner's bag i say beginners because there's not a lot of hardware it, only this uh, swivel hook and the d-rings if you decide to do the strap but if not it's really really simple in fact you don't even have to do the front zipper if you don't want to and you can do the magnetic snap so it truly is a beginner's bag the only thing is that it's a little bit bulky because of the foam and it's big it's actually a very big bag i was surprised after i made it of how wide and how big this bag really is so that is something that you have to take into consideration if you have a more of a domestic smaller sewing machine but i think it's definitely doable i absolutely love it i will be making more of these bags i'm sure i actually think it will be a great uh, christmas present for people that you love if you have someone that uh, works in an office you can make it obviously in like solid colors or for a teacher this is actually a great bag for a teacher that you know has to put all her projects and assignments and things this is definitely a very very nice bag so definitely do it again i'm not an affiliate again my suggestion is get the pdf and get the video okay you guys i hope you enjoyed my review of so sweetness tutor bag and i will see you in the next video ciao